Hello and herzlich welcome back to another episode, part 3 to be exact of Red Dead Redemption 2. Last episode we took out some rival gang, a few of them, and captured one of them to interrogate them. But we didn't do it, so I guess that's what we'll do now or later. But let's just continue and walk to the yellow circle on the map because I, I think that means something. We're gonna starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. We're okay. We Hello, have mate. a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what? 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. <laughs> I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found nothing. Enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need some meat out there. Assorted salted offal. Starving would be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. I mean, <coughs> I would just eat him. Here, you take this. I can't use it and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. Come on, okay. this way. Let's go hunting with the bow. Let's see if we find something. Up, I'm okay. Apart from this hand. A stupid mistake. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. I uh, sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. Yeah. <sighs> so, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill that ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way, find some higher ground. <sighs> now that I think about it. A wild few days, all right. We uh, ride north from Blackwater, Got. getting stuck in the storm, going out for John, that thing with the old Driscolls. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that, just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. <laughs> well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. Epic. Now, I don't want to interrupt the dialogue, that's why, I, why I'm letting the dialogue interrupt me. But what I was gonna say is, now that I think about it, we could have just taken the Odreskers or whatever, the corpses, and ate them. I mean, hey? Anyone got a better idea? idea? I call it a totally valid idea. Harsh time require harsh measures. Or something like that. You gotta innovate. Horse bonding increase. Level 2. Health also increased. I don't know what I did to increase my health, but. There's some patches okay. of grass here. This is good. Let's look down this way. And let's not fall into the river. The wind's died down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now shh. Stay quiet. Okay. Oh no, I talk. Rip. 
Now all the anim animals are gone. Hey, stop here a second. I see something. Stop. Oh, oh my god, I just bumped into him. Has deer been here recently? Ah, yes, it smells How fresh. Can you tell? <sighs> How can you not? We'll track them on foot. Oh You're gonna god. need the bow. Don't leave. Put on your horse. Yeah, Don't scare everything around. Yes, 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 yes. Come on, horse weapons. No, use the bow I gave you. Yeah, no I shit, I'm trying to get it. Shut up. Now, where can I get the bow? Noise. Come on, grab that bow off the horse. Yeah, that's Keep just down. what I did. Move quietly and slowly. Okay. I'm really bad at those hunting mini games. In all games. You see the tracks? I uh, think so. Maybe not. Focus. You can use evil. Ah yes, I'm the Witcher. Okay. It's easier in the snow, but once you get your eye in, you'll be able to track nearly as well in grass and woods. Okay, that's totally useless because you can clearly see it, but I guess if you need it. If you're ninety percent blind. Well, now the tracks disappeared. Now the game is forcing me to use it. And there they are again. Game, you gotta decide. Show them or hide them. I cannot make a joke about people not seeing this. Just for the game to completely make them invisible and me looking like an idiot because I'm not seeing them. Wait, look. There they are. Yes. Are you ready with that bow? Try to hit him in the neck or head. Quick Jesus. and clean. Get good attention on the string before releasing. Oh my god. What is okay, that's bad. Quick. Before they move. Oh my god, I can't hit anything. God this I got it. Jesus. Hunt another deer. Um Okay. A tractor. This will give you a chance of a clean kill as they raise their head before the. Ah, that's. I thought I would just scream, "Hey, deer, come here!" And they would just run away. But I uh, guess that's not how it goes. Come on. You gotta be green. Recycle the arrows. Just don't let it be stuck in there. See? And we'll just leave it there, cause... Hey! Why should we hunt if we don't... Why shouldn't... Why... Forget it. Just... Nope. Forget it. Okay. I see you, dear. Got it. Well done. He's dead. I think and he's running. Okay, you pick up one, I'll get the other. Oh, that's sure mine. Hands okay? uh, it'll be fine once I get it on that's my mine. Okay, I'll go grab the other one. Okay, how, what? It said I could inspect it, but I don't know how. So. Ah, compendium updated. And I can't open it. Hold F1. Ah, hold F1. Makes sense. White-tailed deer are found in a variety of habitats habitats across the states, but are common to the forests of New Hanover, Lemuyen, and West Elizabeth. Their herbivorous diet includes grasses, nuts, fungi, twigs, and fruits, keeping your distance when hunting deer can increase your chances of a kill, as they are easily startled. Long-range weapons such as a rifle or a bow with poison arrows are considered to be the best when hunting. Deer hide can be used for crafting, and their Venetian meat can be used for cooking. Very good to know. And let me exit. Let me exit. Let me exit. Okay. Come here, horse. Horse. 
Horse. Come here, horse. I'm gonna call my horse Horst. Haha. <laughs> Perfect name. Come here, Horst. Okay. Horst. Not bad, boy. Ready to head back when you are. Come on, man. Let's head back. You are Horst. Animal carcasses can be dropped off to Pearson at Butcher's uh, side to contribute careful. contribute nice work, to gain Arthur. supplies. Should be enough meat here to keep us all fed okay. for a few days. You found him. I knew you'd be okay with that bow. Yeah, it's easier when they ain't shooting back. <laughs> We've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck is finally on the mm. turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak, and well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Hmm. You're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what then? We'll still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. Yeah. Hold. And mountains you know everywhere. Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater. We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. We've only been up here a few days and have already picked up two more mouths to feed. One more. We ain't feeding Neil Driscoll a damn thing. Except maybe that can of salt and awful Pearson was kind enough to give us. The girl, she has a wild look in her eye. <sighs> of course. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. So what do we do with her? Well, once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. Who knows? Maybe she'll deal with the O'Driscoll for us. <laughs> well, I know who my money's on in that fight. Hmm. He's weak, but that makes him much more useful. Maybe we can get to them before they get to us. What is it with your Driscolls? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Yeah, I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, and that's we've been there. scrapping over scores with them for Stop years. Stop it! Stop it, horse. Yeah, sorry. Watch out. Bear up ahead. Yeah, no shot. Let's no drop. That's why I wanted to dismount, but okay. You must be real hungry. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. Where did it go? Wrong way, Arthur. Okay. If you see something, you can shoot it. If you don't see something, you can get stabbed in the back. That was said by Confucius. Yes. Definitely. Okay. Calm down, horse. Let me just use an axe on you. Just kidding. This ain't the Witcher. Talk that much, you Calm mate. down. How long you been with us now? Five, six months? Something like that. But you didn't expect this. What? Any of this. Blackwater mess. Being up here? Ah. Uh, sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. I just... No, you could run it alone, no problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. I was wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh, yes. 
Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh. 20 years, something like that. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. He taught me to read. John, too. He taught me a few other things. Him and Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. Dutch saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. Oh. He doesn't sound like an outlaw, but yeah. hey. How's nice people horse? can be outlaws. He's alright. He'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. <laughs> I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the Count once. Hucked me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. No matter what the game says, my horse is still called Horse. I'm gonna hitch time over here. Some food back, boys. Yes, man. That's okay. Stop running. On, oh my god. Over to uh, thank you for showing me how to use the bow properly. I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. How can I always fall off my horse? Well, well, well. Ah. Here, take it. Just drop it down in here. What Straight surprise. in your face. Find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid you. Ah, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. I'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. I'll get to skin you. <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? <coughs> Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skinned that one, did you? Dumped on the floor there. Hey, <laughs> why did you know that? Come on. Okay, what? Huh. Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. <laughs> yeah, well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. That's it's been a tough few days. That just Weird. <coughs> That's looking kind of gross and weird at the same time, but okay. A few days later. It's been a bad few weeks. <laughs> Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans and Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. The ice is melting. Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respects, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You're still here, then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. 
Parker. I think it's time for the train. You want me to come? Of course I do, but look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. Dutch? Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He's seen me now. Or what's left of me. What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway men. Bill, now you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah, come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? He's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob. Let's go. All right, we're moving out. Follow me. Yeehaw. Let's rob that crane. Three minutes, quick, okay, in, quick in and out. Listen up, all of you. According to the information so kindly provided to us by the Odrisco, the train will be coming north from Big Valley. We're gonna pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. There's a raised spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep a lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer, then run point. Lenny and Javier, you two take the front cars, deal with any guards. Arthur and Micah, you head straight for the back. That's what we're after. Mr. Cornwall's private car. You and me, Morgan. Great. Have you got a problem with that? Not if you keep your head for once. <laughs> you worry about yourself, huh? Enough! After Bill blows the tracks, we're gonna need to move fast. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yes, yep. sir. Yes, boss. Good. Now come on. Let's ride. Heists were so simple back in the day. I miss the good old times. Let's rob the train. Uh, snow, finally. Feels good, doesn't it? But we need to get this done fast. Now it's thawing before anyone gets up here after us. Oh, look at you boys. See? The sun. This is what I call a crew. Micah Bell, Charles Smith, Arthur Morgan, Javier Escuela, and what about young Lenny here? Always the first man on his horse. Just happy we're back at him, Dutch. You sure you're ready for this, kid? Of course I'm ready. Just stay calm. Keep your eyes sharp. That goes for all of you. No mistakes. Oops. Not again. So we do this, then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times are you gonna ask the same question, Micah? That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming with Pinkertons. We go back. When okay. I say we go back. And the game's the keeping me from it. going off track. Money safe. You'll just have to trust me. Oh, 
There's the water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. Oh. Whoa. Is Bill there? Yeah. You want to head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. Okay. I'm gonna check on Bill real quick. Yeah. Hopefully he's not blowing himself up. Or me with him. Hello, Bill. How are you doing, How you son? Yeah. I'm okay. You sure? Of course. Can I help a little? All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. Okay. Why do I have the feeling this is going go horribly wrong? Um I'm gonna say goodbye, John. I don't think I'll be seeing you anytime soon again. If something goes wrong. Let's hope not, but you never know. Don't. Come on. Okay. This is good. All right. That should do it. You head back up to the others. I got it from here. Don't blow yourself up, okay? okay boy. Cuz if you do, well Yeah, we're one down. Have to say I'm rather looking forward to it. Just be ready to move quick and remember the plan, all of you. No yes, mistakes. Yes. What's going on? He says all fine. We'll soon find out. Everything okay? I think so. Okay, cover your faces. Train should be here any minute now. Um, how do I cover my face? That's the question. Mask. Winter gloss or bandana? There he comes. Here comes the train. Gentlemen, it's time. Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do. Blow it. Here we go. Oh, what? Why is it not Shit, working? No. You gotta be kidding me! Where did you find that moron? You said it was fine. Was my fault. Come on! You're pathetic. You know that? Uh. Oh my god. Hopefully he blows himself up. Come on. We can still do this. I think one guy fell down. Yeah, he did. At least he's not dead. Grab him, come you. on. Stop Help. Um pull, 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 no wait, wait, wait. Arthur. Uh, I'll go. You cover me. Okay. Come on. I wanna take him. I wanna be cool. Once in my life. Oh shit, stop looking at me. Oh shit, stop me. Okay, that's bad. That's Yeah, that's just unfortunate. Come on. You all die. Come on. Die. Stupid bitch. I'm the Terminator. You can't do shit against me. 
Ja, komm dann. Oh, stupid. Reverse the grapple. Come on. Do I have to smash it? Yes, I do. Come on, I'm gonna beat you up to the... Get to the front of the engine car. Okay, stop it. Ouch. Now let's get the loot. Shit, more guards coming out of that train car. Ah, of course I missed. Oh, dang. Right into his neck. How did this. How do I miss this shot? Right in your leg. Took a uh, shot to the leg. Still okay? I think so. Good. Come on. We're the yeah, Terminator. Oh jeez, that's a lot. Reload quick. Execution. Come on, aim at all of them. That was cool. That was really good. The gang is here. We got this. Good shoot, kid. I can see now why the old Driscoll brought so many boys up here for this. Okay. Tranquilo. Do I need to talk to you? You two all right? Yeah. Let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What, uh, what are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We ain't Five, opening this door. Four. Three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Let's blow this up. Wake him up a little. Let's do them all. Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. Oh, shit. Yes, man. Now, don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Now light the fuse. Oh, Here shit. We, we need to be quick about it. Run. Unless you got a death wish, I'd step back, fellas. Go on. Three, two, one. Okay. Walk out slowly, arm up. Come on. Search that train. Why can't I walk forward? Why is there an invisible wall? Come on, why? Why is there an invisible wall? Jesus, Rockstar. Why invisible wall? Why? Look at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be easy as cake. Yeah, take the alcohol. You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that Dear track. Mr. Cornell, we are yet to receive I'll payment of $2,000 for the initial phase of exploration okay. of the Wapiti Indian Reservation. Um, Barino has agreed in the contract between Cornwall, Carazon, and Tar and the... Leland uh, Oil Development Company dated November 9th, there. 1898. That's a long sentence. 
On receipt of on receipt of the funds, we will there. proceed with see? phases two and three of the project and present done. you with a detailed report of our findings with in the month. Yours respectfully, Bunch? James Critchley, head of accounts, so. Leland yeah. Oil Development Company. Make yourself useful. At least we all know you can read. Good to know. Platinum pocket Railroad watch. Contracts. It's Invoices. like a Rolex. Blah, blah, blah. Brandy. Not really. Sugar oh, even more to the inspect. A lot of Let sugar. me inspect in the Some letter. Fancy new boaties ordered from Europe. <laughs> okay. I am not oh, nope. another boat I wanted to read it. Oh, live. shit. Well, sorry. Oh, Have you take. Checked all the drawers and Give me that money. Twenty-five dollars. I'm rich. Fauna of America. Let's hurry this along, boys. Inspect card. Panther. Any luck, Arthur? Nothing so. much yet. Can I do something with that? Okay. Well, Search cabinet. Goddamn O'Driscolls. Mm, taking everything. Just take, 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 take. Mine, mine, mine. Just take everything. These just seem to be contracts. Arthur, have you looked down the end there? Like I said, no. No, this looks like something. Keep oh, that's a lock. There must be something. That's gotta be worth something. Come on, that's more than twenty-five dollars. It's a bond. I think I got him. Nice. Well, thank God. Come on. Hey, I'm ah. gonna take the cigar though. <laughs> There's gotta be time for that. Get back to the gang. Yes, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. What did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, get it out of here. What about them? Huh. What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. Okay, that's gonna be a hard choice. Aim weapon threaten. Oh my god, okay. If I let them live, they'll probably send someone after me. If I kill them, I'd be... I guess I don't have morals anyway, but maybe we want to be a little bit nice at least. Let's let's threaten them first. I say we threaten them first. Okay, get on the train, quick, all of you. Any oh. bright ideas? I kill all three. So behave. Come on, move. If I hear so much as a footstep from this car. What are you doing? Be quick about it. Okay. Negative actions will make you dishonorable. Oh, I didn't know that. Um. Where did the guards go now? Um. Did I just fuck up? Are they on the train? If they're gone now and I didn't kill them, that's gonna be bad. Please tell me you're still in here. I I I don't I don't wanna kill them. But I mean they're probably gonna talk. Man, it's such a hard choice. I ki already killed one of them. What do I do? What does honor level do? Can I see my honor level somewhere? Horses do not fun. What? That's so hard. Okay, what's that? Okay, what? I only killed one of them. So, if I start the train now, hopefully they won't talk. I mean, I wanna... 
I don't want to fuck up completely, but I also want to be at least somewhat honorable. I mean, they did nothing. Let's just try it. I hope I didn't make the wrong decision. Imagine if there are three possibilities, either you let them all go, kill them all, and then the worst possibility is you kill only one or two of them and let the other one go, and he talks like oh, everything. That's... That yeah. Hell. That's probably what happened. Hopefully not. So, we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. <laughs> well then, let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. That's not fair. Country roads take me home to the place. Get over here! Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me? With the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. I'm just Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Gotta keep us moving, but calm. I'm just hitting those horses constantly. Ah, shit. Oh shit. Okay. Let's take a look. You all right back there? Does everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right. Let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. Alright, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a wing? Shut up. I'm just saying. Don't say less. Pick the wheel up. Bash it. Nearly there. There. See? You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. Oh no. It's the horseman of the apocalypse. What do you think? If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. <sighs> Not 
Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. Come on. Yeah. So, yes. The Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. Stolen clean away from them, it was every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't, in spite of Dutch's talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our blockheaded driver here. Hey. hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. That's right. So, what happened to your trap? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did. But when we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. All life I've been on the run. You're now hot. A couple hot. years later, some soldiers captured um, my mother. Took okay. her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait. I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. Tell it. We I want to know. heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we plan? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls. Our kind of place. The Driscolls? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait, what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? <laughs> it's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but we kept telling him that fairy job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you. Dutch, we've all been in this line of work a long time, and we're still here, so well, I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. Cinematic bars coming in. Something's gotta happen. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay. Come on, go faster, horses. Let's pick up the speed, like, real quick. Holy shit. Poor horses, I'm just slapping them constantly. But, well, I don't have time for this problem. Oh, no, Head in there. Follow the track for a bit. Thanks. Hey, okay. slow up. I'll jump on. Yeah, then be quick about it. Come on, I don't have all day. Okay, let's go. Let's go Any quick. Any trouble getting in here, Javier? Nope. 
Well, oh, that's well. the wrong way. This is a good spot. Excellent. I need to turn. I think this will work for us, Arthur. Just right for through now, the forest. Anyway. Jesus. I'm 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 just fo not following the way at all. Not at all. Here we are, gentlemen. Home sweet home. You were wrong, Jose. This place Here is perfect. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. For now. Now it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Jose. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck. East of the Grizzlies and out of money. And a long way from our dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother. But we are safe. We make a bit of money here. Then we move again. Head out around them. Be west of Uncle Sam. In a few months, buy some land. I hope so. <laughs> Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough. But we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. <laughs> Chapter 2 Horseshoe Overlook A couple of weeks later Got off the mountain Rode east into some pretty enough country called the Heartlands Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier, in spite of black water and that whole mess. Arthur? Jose? Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? 
I'm gonna read a book. <laughs> On that note, that's it for this episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. Go hit the like button if you liked the video, hit subscribe if you want to see more of my content, and go comment down below if you have any suggestions or... My dear boy. Why? What's going on? Stop Nothing. it. Nothing at all. For the first time to in weeks. Nothing. Hello. We're free. Can you shut We're up? Free to plan our own future once up. more. I hope so, Dutch. You kept the faith, Arthur. You always kept it. Can you shut up now? I ain't losing it now. Okay. As I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted by Dutch. Uh, go comment down below if you have any suggestions or want to say something in general. Like, subscribe, already said it before. And have a nice day.